little doubt in my mind of prevailing in an election this fall. It's a shame that a small group has seen fit to drag the city's good image through the mud to further their vicious and unfounded personal attacks on me. And in doing so, have sullied the reputation of other civic-minded individuals who had the audacity to step up and work on behalf of the city for its overall betterment. Nefarious activity like this does nothing other than prevent the city from conducting the business of the people. Let's examine what their petition says. We, the undersigned electors of the city, hereby petition for recall of Mark Fitzgerald, uh, elected as councilman and serves the office of mayor. The grounds for removal are as follows. Conducting city operations and meetings in a manner which prohibits full participation by all council members, resident involvement, and transparency. And willfully and flagrantly exercising authority and power without the consent of the resident electorate or city council. First, what does all this mean? Where are specifics cited? There's no documentation. Just an attack on me with the obvious intent of promoting an agenda. But what is this agenda? Is it the same old banal snake oil pitches of no growth, which has long ago been debunked? Or is it a nostalgic longing for a time and a place that never was? Or is it just plain personal political attacks? Let's ask some questions as one searches for this elusive agenda. Who are these people? Do they live in Loveland? Who are their sponsors? Based on the PAC's financial report, they shouldn't be able to afford much expensive legal help. What are their names? Some seem to have multiple names. What is their past profession? How have they performed professionally? Are they successes or are they business failures? Bankrupts? Personally, do they frequently change names, addresses, or jobs? What are their work records? Do they work? And if so, do they find time on their jobs to engage in political activity? Are they friends or cronies of current or past council members? Have they received special considerations, perhaps due to the relationships, to these relationships, such as forgiven utility bills and no interest loans? <laughs> what are they selling you? Where's the platform? Where's a plan? A policy statement? It's easy to attack be negative, and create false controversy. Governance is hard work, not a lot of pining and whining. It's easy to tear down a community, harder to build it up by planning and implementing strategies. The media and others have chosen to regurgitate what they have been fed. No vetting of the pack or its members and fellow travelers. That is lazy. Now let's ask what they will do. Why is the Chamber of Commerce and its executive director in the pack? Do nonprofit groups which raise many thousands of dollars, thanks in great part to city facilities and subsidies, expect to use the city as their personal playground? 
Will they seek to further politicize Loveland by engaging partisan political parties and ideologues in local government? Will they further choose winners and losers by providing virtually free space to the farmer's market while others pay overhead and taxes? Watch out for wolves in sheep's clothing. Oh, <laughs>